Welcome to another episode of Come Ups. So I'm going to show you my recent pickups from Frank and Sons Toy Show and Collectibles, a couple retail shops, comic book shops, and thrift stores, and the swamp meat. And let's see what I got. So I picked up some more Orkara mini food accessory props. And I like these food props so much. Every time I go to Frank and Sons, I always try to pick a couple up. And I do have a review and an action figure prop shop episode on these. So I'll put both those links in the description. And you can go ahead and check those out. I picked up a Dr. Hugo Strange, and he's a cool-looking lab coat doctor scientist looking guy. And I haven't really seen too many other lab coat scientist looking guys that looked as good as him, so. And he did come with a syringe and a butter knife scalpel, so that was cool. Also got a mini gremlin figure, and this Mogwai is Daffy. And I'm always looking to army build little gremlin figures. It's one of my favorite movies from the 80s. And I'm hoping when Funko comes out with the gremlin reaction figures, they're to scale with 6-inch figures, so I can army build the shit out of them. Swooped up Savage Dragon, and this figure's freaking savage. The detail on his pants and sneakers are awesome, and he's got so much articulation. I mean, he's got individual knuckle and finger articulation, which is, I haven't seen that on any other figure. That's this scale. Grabbed another Daredevil figure, and he's from the Toy Biz 2-Pack Face-Off series. And this was the maskless Matt Murdock variant that came with the black suited Kingpin. I mainly grabbed this figure so I can pop the head off and use it on a suited buck, but I actually like the way the figure stands as is. Swooped up this Buffy figure for two bucks. Come up! And I actually think this is Buffy. I could be wrong though, I never really watched the show. What's cool though is I actually needed a figure like this for a project I'm working on, and I happened to just see it in this random bin full of dollar and two dollar items, so come up! Swooped up this random piñata prop, looks pretty cool. So this is just some random suited guy I found for cheap, and I think he's from the show Alias. He had a weird name like Arvin Sloan, I don't even know what that means, I've never even seen the show. He came with a cool little drinking glass prop, and a glass pitcher. And he is pretty tall compared to Marvel Legends, so he's more like a NECA scale, which is perfect because I needed a suited guy to go with the NECA custom I'm working on. And I just had to swoop up the robot chicken nerd guy. I mean, come on. I mean, this figure's freaking ridiculous. Grabbed a little Carl Grimes, and I needed a random little kid for a stop motion project I'm working on. So I'm going to paint his hair and his outfit a different color, maybe sculpt a beanie on top of his head to resemble this kid I'm trying to imitate for the project. And I got the idea to customize this figure as some random little kid from a really creative dude in the ACBA community named Muhammad. Thanks for the inspiration, bruh. Next up, this guy gave me these two cranks for a dollar. Man, two cranks for a dollar? Come up! So in the original cartoon, there was only one crank. He was one of the main bad guys and the big old android body. But in the original comic and the newer cartoon, Krang's more of a species where there's like a grip of him. So I'm always looking to army build characters like that. And I already have a couple loose ones, so that's pretty cool. And my last come up. Dragon Ball's launch. Man, this figure's been more elusive than Leroy Green. I remember back in the day they had those Suncoast Entertainment stores and they would always have every other figure but this one. And then now when I see it, it's always an arm and a leg. But not this time. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of the packaging and start posing her around. Which reminds me, I gotta rewatch some of the old Dragon Ball episodes. I've been wanting to do that. And then also rereading some of the old manga. Thanks for watching this episode of Come Ups. Check out some of my other videos, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Four weeks, 20 papers, that's $2, plus tip.